G'day. Here we've got the Algo Laser Alpha Mark II laser cutter. So this one here is specifically the 20 watt version. If you are thinking of buying really any Algo laser cutters, especially the Alpha Mark II, definitely worth watching this whole video because I'm basically gonna go and give you the overview of all the features of this one here specifically. And then we're gonna show you some of the stuff that I've been cutting with it and actually then do an unboxing of it, do an actual assembly video, and then just do a bit of a tutorial on how to actually use it and just show you the key features of this and just how simply this thing actually is to use. So full disclosure, Algo Laser did send me this for a review, but they have no say in absolutely anything that I say in this video. So it's all just honest review of my experience with it. Now I've got quite a few years of actual professional laser cutting experience. I've used laser cutters quite extensively in the past, professional uh, models. So this is as good as professional laser cutters were just a few years ago. It really is fantastic and absolutely super easy to use. Let's just go through a few of the key features of this. Just on here, we've got a three and a half inch touch screen. So that's really good LCD screen. We've got a powerful laser. So this one here comes with a 20 watt laser, 10 ton faster engraving speed than probably previous models, 400 millimeters by 400 millimeters engraving area. So that's actually really nice and big. We've got a four core dual MCU CPU on there. We've got built-in Wi-Fi mobile app. So it supports Android and iOS and a heavy duty metal frame. So this is really good. Once we open this up, we can actually have a look, but the whole construction of it is metal. It's really nice. We've got this whole frame on the side and then you've got the really nice space on the inside. So that's pretty much it. That's the box. Uh, nothing too fancy to it, but a really well, nicely packaged box. So let's dig in and put this thing together. There you go, quick assembly check, instructions, quick start guide, and the quick start guide for the air pump. Just really want to highlight that foam. It's just really well packaged, and this is not going to move at all in shipment. So provided there's no major impacts, um, none of this is going to get damaged. That's really, really good to see. All right, so after unpacking everything and just laying it out here on the table, you can see this is all included in the kit. Most important part of this, I think, is obviously the, the laser itself. So the wavelength, this operates 450 nanometers with an output of 20 watts. So that's good. That's really well protected, pretty much in the center of that box, right in the middle package. So that's probably the most protected part from all of this. Uh, and then again, just kind of going through these instructions here, we then just have this quick uh, machine assembly guide. So uh, step by step into it. So I won't show all of this in too much detail, but you can kind of kind of have a good look there. It seems to be really nice and straightforward from just having a quick glance at the instructions. Should all fit together well. Let's put this thing together. All right, so this fits together really well. You can just see those metal pieces on the outside to make the frame. And then there's three bolts on each side that just hold it together. So they're just Allen keys, nice and easy. You get all the tools that you require to assemble this with the actual laser. But I was just using my own T-handles one there, which I really like. So then after all of that is screwed together, that center module there, you can see I just put a few extra screws in and they're just there to tighten the belts on the side just to make sure that all the belts are at the appropriate tightness. And then after that, you just plug in the actual cables. So you run it from the front screen to the actual laser module, as well as the air hose that actually runs to the whole assembly there. That big shaft there just connects the stepper motor on one side to the other side, just because it's got two belts on each side, just to make sure that they're actually physically locked together. So the laser module just slides in, it's held in really nicely by just that one little lever. And then you can see just me doing a little bit of cable management there. So the cable ties for this were actually included in the kit. And then we've just got the actual air pump, which just sits on the side of the laser and it just plugs into the power. And then the actual air hose goes into the module and then just plugging in all of the actual cables there. So after that's done, you've just got to actually focus the module. So there's a little lever on the side you pull, and then you just got that little spacer that you put in. So it's just a few millimeters and then that's focused in properly. The first thing I did, I actually just ran one of the modules, just engraved um, something off there. So you can see there's a whole bunch of a dozen different ones there examples, you just go press start and that's good to go. So you don't need to actually hook this into a computer, which is really good just in case you don't have a computer or you don't want to use it. So just there you can see I, I did the frame function. So which just shows the outline of the actual shape. So you know exactly where it's going to be cutting. And then after that, all you got to do is just hit start and the module starts going. So you can see the blue light on the camera is visible, but it's not visible in real life if you have those laser goggles on. So make sure you don't see any of that extra blue light on the side. That'll just mean that your laser goggles are working properly and you're really really want to take care of your eyes. So this only took a couple of minutes. It actually engraved it together um, just to run it as a test. And you can see there was any, wasn't any calibration required. I put the whole thing together in about 20, 30 minutes is all it took and absolutely fantastic results straight out of the box. So that's a really good sign that this is put together really well and actually machined properly to really nice tolerances. So it fits perfectly into the actual module. So let's just go back and have a look at a couple of the other key features of this. So the really nice thing of it is it's got a three and a half inch touchscreen at the front here. So you can control everything on the laser from it. 
And with that, you actually don't need any software to use it. So you just need an SVG file, put it on a USB on the side here, and then you can actually use the screen to set the laser, to calibrate it, to tell it what material you're using, put all the information in, start it and stop it and, and everything. So that's a really good feature because you can use software. There are open source software or trial softwares that you can use, but they can be a bit expensive. You really don't need that. You just buy this thing and it's standalone. You can also use an app. So Algo Laser has an app. You can just use it and then wirelessly connect to the actual cutter and then just cut everything straight off of that. So the way you actually do that is just down the bottom here. It's got a little Wi-Fi antenna and just through the screen, you can actually connect this to your Wi-Fi. So using the screen, you put in your password, connect the, to your network, and that's it. And then again, this thing is just completely self-sufficient. Through that Wi-Fi as well, you can actually update the firmware. So it's super easy. Um, just through the screen, you go, you check for updates on Wi-Fi, auto downloads, auto does it, reboots, recalibrates, and you're all good to use. If you want to use this with software such as Lightburn or any other open source, you can. It's just got a little port again here on the side for serial control. So you just plug that in, plug the other side into your computer, open up the software and straight away, I've never had any communication issues with it. And I used a lot of computer control of it and never had an issue with it. So that was absolutely fantastic. So kind of going off of that as well as on the side, you've got USB ports. So you can put a USB in to then just copy stuff straight off of that. And it also has a 32 gigabyte SD card that's actually built in. So on here, you've got a whole bunch of templates as well. So um, things such as this one, you can actually just kind of open that up, set it, put it down you want, press start and go, and you just got a whole bunch of examples on there. So that's really good. That 32 gig card is gonna last you a long time and you can delete stuff straight off of it as well if you don't really need it. So that that's really good. So again, it will support SD card, USB file transfer for offline operation. You can use the app. So then you just use Wi-Fi from your phone straight onto this, or you can kind of plug it into a computer and again, kind of use that software control from it as well. That honeycomb mat on the bottom as well, so highly recommend getting that. It's really good just so when you're cutting, you don't actually cut your work surface or whatever you're working on. Um, it, you just actually cut through that honeycomb there. And it's also better for ventilation as well uh, when you've actually got an enclosure for this, which I also do when I tested. So highly recommend getting their enclosures. They're absolutely fantastic. It's just got an extraction fan that you can then just run it outside because you do need to worry about ventilation with this. You can't do this. I mean, you can do this inside, but you need really good ventilation with it. The fumes aren't good at all because any laser cutters obviously burn the material as they cut. So it releases a lot of fumes, especially things like MDF and plastic or acrylic. And um, there's a lot of toxic fumes in that. So you really want to have good ventilation with laser cutters. So when you're actually using this laser, make sure you wear safety glasses. So this is a really nice set of Jilla wear that I've got these glasses. They're not the cheapest, but you want to go for a nice set. So I'll put a link to this below. So that's an extra set I've got. The laser does come with this set as well and they do work really well and then you also want to grab a nice respirator and this is a 3m they're specifically ov and ag which is organic a vapor and then you've got the p100 which is the actual particulate filter as well so this is one of the best ones you can get uh, for this sort of stuff so links to all of this below highly recommend so the other really important thing with this one is the actual precision of that laser dot is 0.12 millimeters so the dot so once you actually focus this, the actual laser dot is just absolutely fantastic, super precise. I've gotten some really, really tight cuts and haven't had issues with clearance or anything like that at all. So um, what I was talking before is the actual different ways of getting your files onto it to cut it. So as part of that, it actually supports JPEG, uh, PNGs, BMP, SVGs, and then GC control as well. So you can you can have a whole bunch of different formats on it as well through the USBs, through whatever you want, and, and that's good to go. A really nice feature of this is as well is it does have a self-test function. So actually when you first put this together, it's really good just to run it through that. And then also if you ever have any issues with it, you just go through that self-test function and it gives you maybe 10 different features that it checks such as XY movement, um, the, the laser, the fan, all that sort of stuff. So it will actually have that and it will give you alarm messages on here as well to tell you if anything isn't working. So that's a really good feature. Um, I used it a couple of times just to actually run through it once I assemble this to make sure it all works how it should and everything's calibrated and sorted. But in the few weeks that I've actually used this, I haven't had a single issue with it. It's been absolutely fantastic and just works every single time. So that's, that's really good. It does also have power loss recovery. So in your job while you're cutting, um, if the power does go out, it will remember where it's gone out and then you can actually just resume the cut, which is really good. If you're in a big complex cut uh, and something does happen and it does go out, the power goes out for some reason or you unplug it by mistake, anything like that, you can then just resume your cut. So that's a really good, really good thing there as well. And the thing that Algo lasers are actually really well known for and is, is a really good feature of them is everything is modular. So if, for example, a 20 watt laser isn't strong enough for you, you decide you want a stronger one, you can then just buy a 30 or 40 watt module and simply unplug it, 
take this one off, it comes off really easy, put the new one in and that's it. It's super easy to configure. So absolutely fantastic. The biggest highlights of this was just how actually simple this was to use. Just multiple ways of getting your files onto it, which was really good. So you don't really have to worry if one thing doesn't work for you, if you can't have a computer on the side, if you don't have Wi-Fi, whatever, chuck a USB in, put it on here and you're good to go. It really is a standalone machine. So that was a really good feature of it. So as you can kind of see here, I've, I've just done a whole bunch of random cutting. So this is just out of some, some MDF, made the little helicopter, little bits and pieces, um, cut a whole bunch of stuff. This was all three millimeter, seven millimeter plywood. So this was really good to cut and you can see what a good job it did actually cutting that. So this is 390 millimeter, so almost a 400. Uh, so you could test that full feature there. So it does, it does just cut that really, really well. Most of the cutting that I actually did was on acrylic. So this is three millimeter clear acrylic, but then I've got some black acrylic. And the reason I did that is I'm just making a lot of these flight panels for a flight simulator. So that, that's just a really cool little feature that if you guys are interested in actually how I built this, uh, like all of this sort of stuff, leave a comment below and I'll actually make a tutorial on kind of how I do these and how I make this and what the end goal of all that is. I did a lot of cutting and it was just absolutely fantastic. Really didn't have any issues with it. So uh, you can cut foam, you can cut um, cardboard with this, although this was obviously really not flexible and this didn't turn out all that well. Um, but as far as the cutter itself, it performed absolutely fantastic. So a lot of stuff, did a lot of cutting. I've used this for, like I said, a few weeks now. So absolutely fantastic. All right, so final thoughts. I was really happy with this Algo Laser Alpha Mark II 20 watt laser cutter. I used it for a few weeks. I did a lot of cutting on a lot of different materials, mostly acrylic, just because that was my use case. Never ran into a single issue, no problem at all with anything. It was just absolutely fantastic to use. And the biggest thing I was impressed by was just how easy this was to actually use and get professional quality results out of this. So as a newbie, you will have no problem using this. All the instructions are on their website. The website is fantastic. Go have a look through there, the tutorials. It'll tell you exactly what strength and what speed you need to use for the different cuts to make sure you get the results that you want. There is a little bit of playing around with it until you figure out what you want, but that's with basically everything. So again, really happy with this. Thanks very much to Algo Laser for sending this out. I'm super happy with it. Hope you guys got something out of this video. There's links down below if you do wanna check this out or any of the safety equipment and so on that I've got. So links down below to all of that. That just supports the channel as well as it gives you some discounts. So again, check the description if you are looking at picking one of these up. So absolutely fantastic and really happy with this overall. So if you buy one of these, you're not gonna go wrong. You're gonna have a great time with it. So thanks for watching. As always, have a good one.